Hi. Okay, um, before I begin, uh, I would like you to, if you're an adult, um, great. If you're a child um, under the age of 18, I would appreciate it if you would ask your parents to take a look at these videos to make sure that they find them acceptable for you to watch. Um, obviously, I won't know if you don't. Um, but the this these videos are about puberty, and they are for people who are children and even teens. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Um, and I hope that this will help you because going through puberty is one of the hardest things that you'll have to do as a human being. And I'm sure that other species would feel, would say the same thing if they could express themselves. Um, when, um, when I was in Indonesia, I had a, a class of students and, and I had received indications that there was a lack of information about puberty. Some of them had started developing, some of them had not started developing, and there was a great deal of disparity. I remember one time when I was, uh, well, I, t I didn't start puberty until I was 15. Um, and I remember one time I was in choir, and there, I, my, my, I was like a baritone and my voice wouldn't go as low as this other kid who was already further along in puberty and also had a deeper voice than me. And he somehow had come to the assumption that there is a connection between age and the depth of your, of your voice, which is not at all true. How deep your voice goes is about the size of your, vo your larynx, your voice box, and has nothing whatsoever to do with your age or how far you are through puberty. And he mocked me about it, and the teacher quickly corrected him, thankfully, because I didn't know. Um, and I think a lot of people are not aware either. Um, so, when, you, um, when I had had that class in Indonesia, these were sixth graders, and, and I told them about puberty and the changes that are going to happen to their bodies in kind of general terms, um, I wasn't sure what the impact was going to be, but I thought it was going to be helpful, and it turned out I was right. Um, it, it really apparently made a big difference for some of the kids, because I think some of them were uh, feeling very insecure because they hadn't started developing yet, and others uh, were uh, feeling uh, insecure because they were already developing and their friends weren't. Um, and you know, whichever position you're in, you feel insecure. Like, like my sister, who's a year and a half younger than me, she started developing, uh, when I was 11. So I'm watching my sister become a woman and I'm still not becoming a man and I'm older than her. And I had no idea why. And that made me insecure. Um, so First of all, you have to understand that when it comes to puberty, when you start is different for everybody. Now, there are average ages, but there are people who start way earlier. There are people who start before they're 10 um, and can get pregnant, you know, girls who can get pregnant before the age of 10. And there are boys who, um, who start very early as well. And there are also kids who's like me who start late. And I don't know the the minimums and maximums for when people will start, but I know that, you know, there, I think it's like, I've heard of kids as young as like five. Uh, and there are usually reasons for this. Uh, sometimes it's a genetic thing, sometimes because of uh, hormones in the food or other things like that. Um, <clears throat> but, so I'm, I'm going to be very... Um, I'm going to be very honest with you in trying to explain the things that you're going to go through, um, especially the, th the things that are going to be happening up here, because that can be sometimes the worst part of it. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to go into full details of this stage, that stage, and the other stage, because there are stages that you go through, um, but I will say that 
you once you uh, start puberty, and not everybody goes through puberty. There are people who have medical reasons why they never go through puberty, and you may see them on TV. You may not he- ever hear about them. In Indonesia, there are some famous actors who have uh, who, who didn't go through puberty, um, but are adults and still look like kids. <clears throat> um, all right, so. Let's let's start from the, the end of puberty. A lot of people think, and I understand why, that um, once you turn 18 or 21 or whatever the legal age of adulthood in your country is, that you are actually an adult and you are done with puberty. Well, the truth of the matter is, is neither of those is true. You're not an adult. If you want to be polite, we can call you a young adult. <clears throat> Um, because you have legally become an adult, but in reality, you're not finished developing your body. Um, so like, <clears throat> and this is most apparent, uh, in, in three, three areas. Um, one, your mental stability will not be fully developed until an average age of about 25. And that's because the frontal lobe of the brain, uh, is the last part of your brain to develop, and that's the average age when it finishes developing. Now, this uh, the frontal lobe is uh, is uh, has executive controls. Um, it, it controls behavior. It, be, it controls um, uh, whether or not you have the ability to be patient, and and um, um, it it's the things that we as adults do that younger people have not got good control of, generally speaking. Now, there are always exceptions, okay? But in general, younger people find that, uh, well, are demonstrated not to be able to do some of the things that uh, full adults are um, able to do. Um, so, another indicator that you are a- approaching full adulthood, but not yet there, is that your wisdom teeth come in. Those are the teeth way in the back of your mouth. <clears throat> Unfortunately, they don't always uh, come in correctly, especially if your teeth are not in the right positions in your mouth, um, or if you have a small mouth. You may not. They may not come in at all, which means they're, they're called impacted. Um, they may come in sideways, like my wife. She had to have hers pulled because they came in sideways. I mean, they literally were like shaped like this, and they were causing her a lot of problems. Um, <clears throat> They may uh, come in, but, you know, be at an awkward um, angle. Um, and then, finally, uh, if you, one thing that kind of demonstrates what I'm talking about is if you look at men, um, when, they're, when they're going through puberty, they'll start getting facial hair. But it won't be until, usually, that they're in their... No, there are exceptions, but there won't, it won't be until, usually, in their 20s, when you start to see a full beard, I mean, my beard is is pretty full. Um, I've seen people with bigger beards and or fuller beards than mine. <clears throat> and there, and of course, there are people who genetically never will have full beards, um, especially like Asians um, and certain other groups of people. They just because of of whatever factors, they don't grow full beards. Um, they may grow wisps, but they just don't have a full one. So that doesn't mean anything about how much of a man they are or anything like that. That is simply to do with genetics, um, inherited, uh, traits. Um, but generally speaking, a lot of guys will finish, uh, will start having a full beard only like in their twenties. All right. So now that we've got that out of the way, and you can you can anticipate and hope for that end stage. And remember, there are people who are well beyond the age of twenty five before they finish going through puberty. And who knows if scientists are going to discover other aspects of puberty that we're not currently aware of. <clears throat> and again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. Um, I'm just sharing with you um, things that you need to know as a child so that you can be prepared for the, some of the, some or well, I, hopefully I'll get most of them uh, things that you will experience. All right, so I'm going to uh, stop this video here. And in the next video, I'm going to be talking about changes in your body. Thanks for watching.